All right, everyone, welcome back to another box opening. Today we have Union Arena, which is a brand new game from Bandai. It has all your favorite anime from Bleach to Hunter x Hunter, and plus there's going to be more coming out, such as Full Metal Alchemist, One Punch Man, and so on. So let's get right into it. Today we have the Hunter x Hunter. Um, so we'll open up this first because I did play the, re the release and um, I got most of the, the Bleach stuff that I needed. So we're going to open up Hunter first to kind of get a better understanding of the cards. Uh, but if you're watching this one first, please go and watch the other video, which will be the Bleach. That'll be out soon. Probably a couple, like a day or two after this. Probably on the month, Tuesday or something. Um, but yeah. Uh, cellophane. Shrink wrap. The bane of my existence. Ugh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this one has a couple colors. It has... Um, so I think what, what was smart is that for this dual release, uh, Hunter Hunter is like a mix of green, purple, and uh, blue, while um, the other one, Bleach, is green, purple, red. Some of the rares that I bought off people because they were like, yeah, sure, why not? I'm not going to play the deck. I was like, oh, okay, solid. Um, I do believe we get a box topper in this, if I can open this. Yep. Um, so yeah, so the box topper is going to be a um, just a common card that's foil. So we get a purple one. This is... We got... Get Racker. This is cards only shit. Oh, it's shit is illuminating. Okay. So that means you could raid over this. So this is a raid target. So that's just the mechanic of the game. So think about like Digivolving or um, Overlay and Yu-Gi-Oh. But yeah. Uh, I do like the box size though. It's pretty small per se. It's definitely smaller than One Piece and, and Digimon. So yeah. Uh, it's going to be a lot of room for trash though. So we'll just keep going. Okay. So we have the Zephyle, Franklin, Binolt. Let me see if I can zoom in slightly. It's kind of hard. Uh, focus. So, I'll just keep my hand here for now. Um, so, that's Nullify Impact. So, this is your blocker. Uh, Tompa. This is a Shark Stack card. Paladin's Necklace. Uh, choose one rated character on your opponent's uh, field or your opponent's field and place it top you know, on his deck and draw a card. Uh, Scarcely Fast Chop. We have a Kuripika, three cost. We have Machi. Return one of your other characters in the field with one or less energy and then return or return to the hand. Uh, Razor, Natero. We have Kilo Azoldic as a blue. When attacking, draw a card, then place one card from your hand in your sideline. And then we have a Crollo as a super rare. All right. Uh, so we'll place a rare as a super rare. So it's going to be um, a rare, two rares per pack or a rare and a super rare. We have our raid fodder gone. We have a uh, bungee gum. Add one character from your sideline to your hand. We have a company. Choose any number of characters on your field and move them to or swap them with characters in your other line. Draw a card. Uh, Karapika, Genthru, Crollo, Dragonhead, Lao, Long Tu Shi Hua. Uh, choose one character with 3k or less. Uh, if you have a Zoldic family affinity card, sideline 5k or less. Uh, Genthru, Emperor of Time, Absolute Mastery. Uh, choose one character on your field. It gains 3k DP. When this character attacks and was about to draw a card until the end of the turn. If the chosen card is Kurapika, it also gains Snipe. Uh, Shalnark, when played, play up to one character with three or less required energy, one AP cost, and one Phantom Troop affin affinity, other than Shalnark from your sideline into your resting area at the end start of the turn, or start of the end phase, sideline that character. We have Fishing Rod, which is your removal for green, and then we have another Crollo. Uh, this is a rare. Uh, when played, look at the top four cards of your deck. Reveal up to one Phantom Troop Affinity card other than Crollo. Add it to your hand. Then place the remaining cards um, on the bottom of your deck in any order. If you added a card to your hand, place one card from your hand to your sideline. So that one, will, so what you do, right? So you raid on top of it. So basically you kind of digivolve using this as material. Uh, but yeah. We have Water Divination. Look at the top card two cards of your deck, place any number of them from on the top of the deck in any order, and then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order, draw two cards. We have Miluki, uh, when played, look at the top card of your deck, then place it on top or bottom of your deck. We have Garinu, activate main, switch to resting, look at the top card of your deck, then place it on top of your bottom of your deck. We have Shadow Beast, uh, there's a blue or purple character on your opponent's field, reduce this card by, energy card by one in your hand, so this will be one action, two cost energy. Uh, we have Fufat, or Fuhat, uh, one sideline, draw a card. We have Scarily Fast Chop. It just um, uh, gives something minus 2k DP. Underworld Resident, choose up to your AP cards, which are active. You have Netero, you have Elena, 
Izuku, one play, draw a card. We have Ahsoka. And then we have a Killua Zoldic as a rare. Um, so yeah, so I'm probably going to go a bit faster uh, now because these cards are kind of get repetitive because all of them just do the same thing over and over again where it's like, oh, draw a card or remove this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but this one is activate main, pay one AP until the end of the turn. Your opponent must block with characters if able. Then Killua, when attacking, if a character on your uh, opponent's field has been sidelined this turn, this character gains 1,000 BP until the end of the turn. Uh, activate main once per turn. You can only activate this ability if a character on your opponent's field has been sidelined this turn. Move this character to the other line. So it's got like a pseudo keyword called step, so you're allowed to like move things here and there. We have Kiriko, which draw a card, Bungie Gum, Sub, Pampa. We have Batera, we have Goto, Wing, Genthru, Silva, Yones. You have Genthru as a uh, rare. One play, draw a card, then you may place one card from your hand on top of the deck. If you do, choose up to one of your characters for 3k BP or less on your opponent's field front line and return to the hand. And then we have, ooh, we got the, we got an action point. So yeah, so this will replace a rare, sadly, inside your, your box, but this is guaranteed at least two of. And then sometimes it could be like a hollow rare or hollowed five version. We have Zep, Zepile, uh, Miluki. We have Binol. We have Karapika, Alan's Necklace, Ahsoka, Release, Shizuku, Emperor Time, Ida, you have a Neon, which is really, really good inside the uh, Kurapika or Gone, because this basically plays out uh, another character free. And then we have, ooh, uh, Illumini as a rare. So this is just one play, draw a card, which isn't bad. Hopefully when the uh, release date hits, these cards like kind of drop to like maybe like fifth, like five set, five dollars for a uh, super rare. But, you know, who knows? Um, Bandai's been having like a bunch of distribution stuff lately. So who knows? Uh, Zabor Zebro, a company. We have Hanzo. We have Fuhat, we have M Mike, uh, Testing Gate, Wing, Risky, or Bisky, uh, Dragon Head, we have John, John, Ken, and then we have, ooh, we got the Kilua alt, nice. Um, so yeah, uh, when attacking, once per turn, reveal any number of cards in your hand, activate all abilities listed below. If you have the required number of society slot finny cards with unique names using them uh, on your field, two more draw a card or four more against this character gains damage two on the end of the turn oh but that's pretty cool though i like this rare um it's not the autograph rare but it is i think it's uh uh it's uh let me see it's an yeah it's altar sr so yeah that is pretty neat all right so we have water divination we have franklin hilo azoldic shadow beast gen through Benovolov, Karapika, Vara, Kaluto, Exciting Multiple Choice Quiz. We have a Gon as a uh, one played. Uh, choose up to one character on your opponent's front line with BP equal to 1,000 multiplied by the number of characters on your front line and sideline it. And then we have a Genthru as an SR. Okay. Not too shabby. We got uh, technically three SRs on the sides, on one side. So that's pretty good. We have Pockle, uh, Pakun. Gnonda, uh, Tizigura, Satos, Huhat, Crollo, Elena, Spider Tattoo, Melody, Abogene, Crollo again, and then we have a uh, Illumini Raid. Okay. Uh, so that's another SR. So that's three SR. So supposedly we're supposed to have six in here. We have Basho, we have Glitcracker, Gorino, Ponzu. Uh, Gone Freeze, Scarcity, Nobunaga, Lorio, Ship of Beach, Machi, Gone Freeze as a rare, and then we have an Ahsoka as a rare. Okay. I think we uh, ate up our uh, rare, our uh, alt art slot, so eh, it's fine. Uh, Gone Freeze, Franklin, Sub, Hanzo, Paladin's Necklace, Ahsoka, Gone Freeze, Genthru, Kyoko, Heaven's Arena. We have Skill Hunter, Bandit Secret, and then we have a Bisky as a rare. Okay. Next pack. Only a couple more packs to go, actually, so it's not too bad. Uh, we have Pockle, Bungie Gum, Binolt, Karapika, Batera, Goto, Razor, Shalnark, Wing, Bisky's Training. We have a Karapika. Uh, we have this character has 5k or more. 
or 5k more characters on field, the skins impact, and then we have, uh, ooh, Killua as a uh, SR. Yeah, so that's an SR right there. Not too bad. Um, I think that's one is a two up in the Gone and Friends deck, uh, but I'm not really sure. We have Zapile, Zebro, a company, Pompa, Gone Freeze, uh, Belenove and Kortopi, Shizuku, Matero, Razor, Sphinx, Baton. Ooh, and then we got a blue Gone Freeze. So centering on that's kind of bad, though. Yeah, it's kind of bad on the centering, but that's an SR2. Um, I think there should be one more SR at lit in this, or at least another action point, which I think is in the back. Uh, Kiriko, Miluki, uh, Kilo Azoldic, Shadow Beasts, Genthru, Krolo, Hunter's License, Ida, Shizuku, John S, Angel's Breath, and then we have a, yeah, uh, the AP point. So hopefully there should be another SR somewhere in here. I think I see in the back. Water Divination, Git Cracker, the Zagura, Satos, Fu Hat, Mike, Risky Dice, Kaludo, Lorio, Bisky, Lorio, and then we have, ooh, whoa, we got another uh, Killua as a SR. Okay, so that's our SRs for the box. Who knows if we're going to get anything else out of this. Hopefully just two more rares. Uh, Basho, Wakunoda, Gori Inu, Ponzu, Gonfries, Goto, Underworld Resident, Wing, Release, Nobunaga, Zeno, and then a gone. All right. Well, I think this is this box is going, going, gone. That's what I gotta say about it. So, hmm. We have Pockle, Zebro, Sub, Anzo, Batera, Ahsoka, Gone Freeze, Torimon, Testing Gate, Elena. We have a Karapika as a rare, and then we have a Uvogin as a rare. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy about like the blue uh, hunter stuff. That's kind of cool. The uh, alt art for Kilo uh, Kiloa. So I might have to build blue now, which is kind of like eh, I don't really want to, but I'll just keep it as trade fodder for now. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. So sayonara.